Jason, this is of course the Canon Wux 400 <laughs> ST. I just love the word. WX, yep. Uh, 4000 anti lumens yep. WUXGA resolution. Um, looks like a projector to me. Yeah. Makes it so special. Well, it is, but what uh, what's really interesting about this is how uh, short throw it is. Uh, in the old money, it'll uh, do a seven foot diagonal image from four feet, uh, which is pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, plus, you've got physical lens shift mm. as opposed to keystone. So what they're aiming at here is it can pretty much fit into any space, get mounted kind of just about anywhere. So even if you've got compromised mounting location. Yeah, which you know happens all the time in installation. That's what they're going for. They're going for the education market, medical, in institutional, anywhere like that. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff that it comes with that makes all of that really easy. So installing into pretty much any space to pretty much deal with any resolution uh, and any input. So I notice we've got RJ45. Yep and DB9 yep. connector for control on the side yep. and there's a little Crestron logo on top. What's yeah. all that mean? Oh, the Crestron logo on top. Okay, so over the RJ45, so over the IP connection, it's compatible out of the box with Crestron's Room View. And That's what cool. Room View is a software environment for control, monitoring, logging, all those lovely things that institutions like, telling you how much the projector's been used, uh, you know, how much lamp life have you got So left. if you deploy a hundred of these things into your institution, you mm. can monitor them all from one central point and get flags when the lamps yep. are due for replacement turn them off if people have left them on, that sort of thing. All of that, very, very easy, all done over the IP port. Now the IP port's also got some limited functionality in terms of content sharing mm -hmm. uh, with everything else on the network. It's not HD based T, but there is a limited form of it. Now, uh, speaking of content, you can actually get a USB stick, put uh, any Microsoft Office file, a PDF, uh, numerous image and video formats, plug it straight in and off you go. So half the time you don't wow. even need a computer. Uh, HDMI, VGA, um, and yeah, just lots of tools for making, putting it in and making it work with pretty much anything that's going on, including stacking multiple projectors on or next oh, to each other. Oh, built-in edge blending. Edge blending, Fire. yeah. Um, and yeah, as again, throwing up 4,000 lumens at uh, 1920 by um, 1200. So, I, I yeah. think, look, really this, you know, if I think back to 20 years ago when I had a video projector, which was a three-gun thing, this is about 100 kilos lighter. <laughs> it's about 100 times brighter. Yeah. It's got way more pixels. Mm. It sets up a whole load faster. Um, and I think really this is this is a very, very nice, elegant e yeah. example of, of just how good modern mm. projection has become. And the fact that we can do this short throw lensing stuff now, yeah. like it's not a cheap projector. No. Um, no, it's, it's, it's a bit under six grand, I yeah. think you said. Yeah. Uh, which is not cheap, but, but really what you are paying for is you're paying for, for the, you know, not just the output, but the optics as well, and the cleverness of the optics, because the yeah. lens shift, and especially being able to combine that with the short throw thing, mm. Yeah, that, that's amazing. And speaking of the optics, Canon, so it actually the lensing's from the EOS uh, SLR cameras that mm. we actually shoot with. So yeah. it's, it's really high quality, and it just solves a lot of problems if you're an integrator. Yeah, it's good beautiful. Stuff.